Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the marriage of Brent and Sarah. My name is Lisa Brereton, and I'm an authorised marriage celebrant. Brent and Sarah would like to thank you all for coming today to witness and honour the commitment they are about to make to each other. They would like to thank those people who have travelled from afar and acknowledge those who unfortunately can't be with us today. We think fondly today of Brent's Nana, Diana. Although she can't be here with us today, we have saved a special seat right up the front for her. And we also have a candle which burns in loving memory of those who are not here today, but are forever present in our hearts. By the power of technology, we are also joined by a live stream by many of Brent and Sarah's family and friends from all over the world. How about you guys give them a wave? <laughs> I'm sure they are all thinking of you both today and sending their best wishes for a lifetime of happiness. Marriage is about our ability to be loving and forgiving, thoughtful and caring, trusting and understanding. It involves respecting each other and giving comfort and support whenever it is needed. Marriage is about companionship and a lifelong partnership. They both honour their own and the other's individuality and uniqueness, and they honour their differences and celebrate their union. It is in the spirit of love and friendship that they stand as equals before us, ready to declare their vows and commit themselves to each other. Brent and Sarah met in 2017 in an online game through some mutual friends. They chatted online a lot, but it wasn't until Brent really needed a friend that he noticed just how kind and caring Sarah was. When Brent's grandmother died, Sarah was constantly checking on him, demanding her, he message her to say where he was and what he was doing. <laughs> she just needed to make sure that he was okay. In 2018, they met face to face for the first time in Las Vegas. Now just imagine the most beautiful, romantic, airport reunion scene of your favorite movie. That was it, that's how it happened. Brent picked Sarah up and spun her around right there in the airport. They captured this moment on video. I've seen it, it's pretty cool. And I'm sure they will cherish it forever. They spent two amazing weeks together and they just knew that this relationship was worth giving a good go. When Brent had to go home, he cried, like a lot, and he's not a crier. This really was the real deal. In 2019, Sarah moved to Australia for a year and their connection grew even more. They described their time together as easy and it just seemed right. They wanted to make this permanent. So in a roundabout awkward way, they got engaged on Christmas day, 2019, in the guest bedroom right here, before everyone was due to arrive for lunch. From what they told me, it kind of went something like this. So, um, do you like wanna do the married thing? <laughs> yep. Okay then, uh, so we probably should tell mum and dad? Oh no, wait, everyone's just arrived. Let's wait until everyone leaves. No one will know. <laughs> but Nana knew, because Nanas know everything. And Nana let the cat out of the bag while everyone was playing a yard game in the backyard. <laughs> Sadly, Sarah couldn't stay forever and she had to return to the US. Then the dreaded C word happened and they didn't get to see each other for a really long time. We are so glad that she was finally able to make it back to Australia at the end of last year. And now no one has to travel overseas unless it's for an amazing holiday. Brent loves that Sarah is caring and easy to talk to. He feels he can talk to her about anything without feeling self-conscious or that she's going to judge him. Sarah loves that Brent is open and honest. She also thinks his voice is very sexy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I read that wrong. Brent thinks 
that Sarah thinks his voice is very sexy. <laughs> to them, marriage means being with the one you love forever and ever. Like those twins in The Shining, only with less blood and murder and weird voices. <laughs> or more seriously, they said it means to finally be where they belong with the person they belong with. They are best friends and they couldn't imagine a life without the other in it. I asked them what do they believe are the strengths in their relationship and their only answer was communication. I guess that's what 7,452.6 miles between you will do. Brent and Sarah, before we begin the formal part of the ceremony, I must advise you that I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage, in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage according to law in Australia is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Brent, do you take Sarah to be your wife? Do you promise to try your best not to be so stubborn? Do you promise to keep enjoying summertime cuddles even if Sarah radiates the heat of a thousand suns? But most of all, do you promise to love her for all of your days? Sarah, do you take Brent to be your husband? Do you promise to continue being the organised one and the super planner of the relationship? Do you promise to continue supplying back rubs, head scratches and surprises to Brent? But most of all, do you promise to love him for all of your days? Thank you. It's now time for you to exchange vows, which will unite you as husband and wife. These vows are a formal and public pledge of your love and a promise of a lifelong commitment to each other. Could you please hold your hands? Before you say your vows, I would like you to take a quick moment to reflect on the hands that you are holding. These are the hands of your best friend, your soulmate, the one you have chosen to be with forever. Hands young and strong and full of love for you. These hands are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other tomorrow, not today, tomorrow and forever. <laughs> These are the hands that will work alongside yours. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. persons here present to witness that I, Sarah Elizabeth Kelly, take you, Brent Maxwell Cram, to be my lawful wedded husband. From the day we met, you've made my world brighter and brought love and laughter back into my life. I wasn't looking for a best friend, but you were exactly what I needed. You took me from a dark place in my life and showed me that I am worth more than the lack of love I was showing myself. From our first bet to get me to join your gaming group to our time in Vegas, where we spent most of our time playing Pokemon Go and walking the strip, to even my first move to here to Australia. You've been the one person I knew I could tell anything to and be my complete self around. You have been there for me on days where I'm bouncing off the walls to the days where I'm a complete mess and can't use my voice to communicate, and I love you for it. I love you and all your random thoughts. I love you on your good days and bad days. I love you for the love and support you are always showing others, even when you're having a little day yourself. You are my best friend in the entire world, and I can't see myself without you by my side. Thank you for <laughs> shaking so bad. <laughs> 
Thank you for making me laugh, showing me that there is still good in the world and that I actually mean something to people. I was at my lowest before you, and since you've come into my life, I've started to love myself more, and I want to be someone you are always proud of. As your wife, I promise to always be by your side, no matter what kind of day it day is. I will always listen to your ideas and dreams and try to help them come true. I promise that I will continue to love you even when you're driving me crazy over something ridiculous. I promise to always make communication a center point of our relationship and to let you know if there's anything going on, no matter how big or small it may, be, it may seem at the time. I look forward to starting our life together, getting our own house, getting our perfect dog, and eventually touring the world together. I vow to always be your player too. I call upon the person here present to witness that I, Brent Maxwell Cram, take you, Sarah Elizabeth Kelly, to be my lawful wedded wife. Sarah, who knew when I asked, was asked to visit a new streamer just starting out on the 4th of July that I'd end up meeting my best friend and the love of my life? We'd embark on what can only be described as the craziest quest anyone could imagine leading us leading to us being together here today in front of our friends and family with both of us and those across the world watching. From the moment that we met, I knew there was something very special about you and very quickly realized that you'd firmly secured a place within my heart. You've always allowed me to become a better version of myself. You've let me be able to express my hopes, my dreams and my fears without judgment. Anyone I'm shaking. <laughs> You have celebrated my victories, supported me through my failures, and never once judged me, instead only making sure I knew that I was loved without any question. We have endured 7,400 miles of distance between us, perhaps a little more, multiple late night calls, hours of plane flights to and from different countries, a pandemic, thousands of hours on date nights with either games or movies, just trying to get that little bit more time together. While we're now together, I would not change anything that we've been through. Well, maybe the pandemic, but only so that we could have done this a lot sooner. I promise to continue to cook for you. I promise to continue to make you laugh whenever possible, whether with jokes, stories, or as one of the many character voices that I do. I love you, and ultimately, I promise to you that I'll always be your player too through life. You stole my line, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Supporting you and en <laughs> encouraging you and walking with you through everything that life throws at us. I'd be honored to have you as my player one. Brent, as you place the ring on Sarah's finger, can you please repeat after me? This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have and all that I am. With all that I have and all that I am. Sarah, as you place the ring on Brent's finger, can you please repeat after me? This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have and all that I am. With all that I have and all that I am. Dearest family and friends, we have been privileged witnesses here today as Brent and Sarah have declared their love for one another and committed their lives to each other. In the years to come, your rings will remind you with joy of this celebration. May you always be as happy together as you are today. It is with great pleasure that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brent, you may kiss your bride. No, no bubbles yet. <laughs> 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 
Uh, we're just going to sign uh, the official paperwork and we will be back shortly. So just chat amongst yourselves for a second.